Hi everyone, great to see you back and I'm talking about my favourite subject again, defence. Now, you know, when you're playing with your partner in defence, it's not you doing your thing over here and they're doing their thing over there. There's a whole lot of communication going on and when we have the choice of card to play, then which card we choose to play tells a story. Today we're going to talk just a little bit about suit preference. How can I tell partner which suit to lead back to me? And we're talking about a trump contract. Now partner leads the suit to me and I think, cool, I'm going to give my partner a rough. When I play the suit I think partner can rough, I can also tell them which are the remaining suits I prefer and that's called a suit preference. So how that works is, when I'm playing back the suit for my partner to rough, I play a high card if I prefer the higher of the remaining suits. I play a low card if I prefer the lower of the remaining suits. And if I'm not sure, well, I play a middle card. Well, when I say not sure, I really mean no preference. You could have no preference for a couple of reasons. One, one is that um, you don't actually have any good news to tell part and you don't have anything much good to tell them, or you've got good things in both suits to tell them. Okay, let's clarify about when I say the remaining suits. Say trumps is spades and partner leads a club and I'm going to give partner a club rough. So when the other two suits I'm talking about are diamonds and hearts. So hearts is higher than diamonds in suit ranking. So if I want to a heart sent back by partner, I play a high card. And if I want a diamond sent back by partner, I play a low card. And if I'm not sure, I have no preference particularly, then I'm going to play a middle card. Let's have an example of this at work. Here is a hand I played with my dear friend. So I've got I've got <laughs> I've got Johnny sitting in the west seat. I've got my partner Jeff, and I've got a very nice, young, promising uh, bridge player called Jack sitting east. And the auction made me wonder a little bit. I opened one spade, and east overcalled two hearts, and the auction got passed out. Oh, well, I've only got an 11 count and East hasn't got a great big hand to bid to her. So I'm, I'm wondering what's going on here. I'm pretty sure that my partner self has got some points, but they couldn't find a bid. Now, I'm sure that if they had three spades and six plus points, they would have managed to bid two spades. So... I'm wondering what partner has for their pass. Well, my partner's very reliable um, and I'm picking that he didn't have anything to say and it's a good lesson of life too, isn't it? Um, if you haven't got anything to say, worth saying, don't say anything. And I think that's what's uh, happened here with, with Jeff sitting south. So, so let's have a little look at this hand. Unsurprisingly, and Jeff led a spade. Now he led the three and our lead style is we play fourths and seconds. Now Johnny hasn't got a huge amount of points so five, six, seven, eight and I've got 11 that's 19. So there's 21 points between east and south. So I'm thinking that that South has got at least six points, so for sure they won't have three spades to have passed. So I can see the two in my hand, and Jeff has led the three from South. That looks pretty much like a singleton to me. Let's have a look what gets played. Mm, I'm still thinking it's a singleton. Okay, now time for a suit preference card. Now look, spades is um, the suit that's been led and hearts is trump. So when we're talking about a suit preference card now, we're talking about diamonds or clubs. 
Now I have to decide, do I have a preference for diamonds, for Jeff to play a diamond? Do I have a preference for him to play a club? Or can I play a middle card to say I'm really not sure? Or I have no preference. <laughs> Maybe we'll say oh, I better have no preference. And I've got five spades to choose from. Now, if I was decided that it was a diamond preference I was giving, I would play back the jack of diamond, uh, the jack of spades, sorry. And if it was the club, I'd play the two. And in this case, I'm going to play the two. I'm going to suggest to Jeff that I want a club back. Now, I'm not too worried about him getting confused about this, and I'll tell you why. West has got the king and queen of clubs. So if I give a very clear signal of the two of clubs to Jeff, and um, he, he hasn't, I don't show up with the ace, then I think he's going to deduce, because it's such a clear signal playing the two, that I've got a signal to, singleton. Now, on a really amazing day, he might show up with the ace himself and give me a rough. So, well, let's see what happens, shall we? But I'm going to play the two of spades, giving a suit preference for clubs. And there he goes. He's roughed. Unsurprisingly, as I said, he's such a reliable partner. If he'd had three spades, he would have raised me. And sure enough, he sent back the Eight of Clubs. Now, this Eight of Clubs is an important card. It's called an Attitude Switch. And I'm not going to go into it too much now. We'll go over that in a later lesson. But basically, a high card is saying that I don't have an honour in that suit or I don't have a high card in that suit. So he's sending that back. And we all follow suit. Now, unsurprisingly, East uh, takes a heart finesse against my king, and the jack of hearts comes down in my partner's hand. Now, East is a, is a good declarer player, and he's deduced, I believe, that that is South's last heart, and that he can safely cross to dummy with a spade without fearing getting another rough. And that's what he did. He's a good player. Then something good happened. He took another finesse and he stayed in dummy. And now he has to play out of dummy. And he played a club which I roughed. Yay! Okay, let's have a little add up here. Now we know that partner in South has some points. And let's think back. Let's look at all the suits. So he had no points in spades. He started with a singleton spade. And the only point that he had in hearts was the jack of hearts. He led the eight of clubs to me. It was an attitude switch saying that he didn't have an honour in clubs. And uh, we can see the king and the queen, and for sure he would have played the ace of clubs if he'd had it. So I'm pretty sure that Jeff has points in diamonds, and, you know, I'd, I'd put all my chips and he's got the ace, but he might not. He might only have the queen. Um, but let's see what happens. So I'm going to send back a diamond. Now, I have two diamonds. And to tell partner that I have two, I'm going to play the, the highest one. So I'm going to play the king of diamonds. And Jeff did a very good thing. My partner Jeff and South did a very good thing here. And he overtook my king of diamonds with the ace so that he could give me a club rough. And there we have it. And at that point, Jack um, could claim the remainder of the tricks. Now, this, this isn't, you know, earth shattering because, well, Jack made his two hearts and we didn't take the contract light. I suspect we might have got a trick um, that, that wasn't terribly obvious then. I think Jeff did a great thing by overtaking with the Ace of Diamonds and giving me a rough... 
So that was all about suit preference. And just a reminder that when we're giving a, sending a card back for partner to rough, we can give them a suit preference. We can play a high card if we want the higher of the remaining suits. We can play a low card for the lower of the, of the remaining suits. And a middle card would say we have no preference. Either we like both suits or we like neither of the suits. Hope you enjoyed that little defensive hand in learning about suit preference. See you.